Well, let's kick things off. We got Astralis starting over on the CT side. Cloud9 gonna be starting off on the T side, and initially, Glaive's gonna go for an early peek down towards the middle. You can see how passive Cloud9 are playing off the bat, maybe giving a little bit too much respect to Astralis, as now Magic's gonna push along and take the first kill of the series. Yeah, a lot of aggression already from this CT side. Magic's with two opening picks. He's sticking around, and he will be closed out eventually by JT. You already see them looking to head over towards the B side. They do have the two smokes to open things up, but Zipex is gonna be there, and he is just waiting to take some heads off. Yeah, this is his prime position. This is exactly where you want Zipix to be. Very hard to take out, and they're not closing him down quick enough. Already, Sonic will fall to Dupree, and it leaves Floppy alone. But he's turned it down into a one versus two. Spots out device. Now has the information of where both players are. Looking for that individual duel, he'll get it. But Glaive's going to take the win. Slowly making their way around Banana. Going to flash out, and there's actually no support for device. He should be going down. Nothing that he can do there. It seemed like Dupree was meant to be oh. having a peek through the smoke. Okay, JT. He's given them a two-man advantage with 30 seconds to get into this site. The full rotation coming in from the B side, but that means there's nobody left to try and defend. Zipic gets in quick enough, but he's only for a one-for-one -one trade. They have managed at least a little bit of extra damage onto two of the remaining players. So there is still a possibility here, but still just one-for-one. -one. Good work from Cloud9 to trade out every single one of these kills. And now the IGL Glaive left in a one versus three. Gonna try and round this corner. Does manage to find Sonic, but the dual peak coming out from Cloud9 works wonderfully. The T's though, maybe looking to pick up the pace a little bit. Nice nade though, already kicking things off. It's gonna be that Galil staying forward. Lots of damage done, but it's still gonna be JT getting the opener. He's been doing very well at that in these last few rounds. He gets Magisk as well. He's only on 25 HP, but he's just completely ruined that B site. And what was looking like a fantastic start from Astralis, two players tagged ridiculously low, has already turned into a save. Like yeah. everybody's earned their spot, be it through qualifiers, be it through ranking. A little bit of luck with visas. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but they're, they're the one exception. But, you know, here's the start, Dupree. Again, it's going to be lots of early damage. They tried to go towards this B site in the initial start of the round, and he's this time got a kill and damage modem to within inches of his life. In fact, he's going to burn to 6 HP, and Device gets further aggressive. Dupree in a perfect position to just mow down these three players about to come in through Monster. Both be the first one. He's going to fall, and Sonic will return. But Zipex will be there to help secure it and get Astralis to stop the rot. They just start picking up some kills, and unfortunately, it's not working oh, no. out for him. The smoke's working against Cloud9 for once. And I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, no, actually, hold on to that point as it starts to push through yet again. Another smoke. JT gets the first kill into Glaive. A nice flashbang comes through, but it actually works out against Cloud9, holding them back. And Magus is going to be there, and he's going to get himself another two kills. That's a quad kill in that round for him. The issue with that, that there's no one there to stop him, no one there to counter him, is they can now just bolster this B side ready for any sort of take. Solo and health down to 16 HP. In the meantime, the rest of the players of Cloud9 are trying to push through Monster. Now a little bit staggered here as Magic gets two and Glaive gets one. Now it's down to OC and Sonic. Two versus five. Not the greatest positions either to really do too much damage. We know that over towards short, Sonic has pressure coming in from Connector. Even a flank potentially coming through. And Astralis again, not losing a single player. They got Magic on 16k. Well, it looks like Cloud9 will be set up for a B-side hit, though. Look how many players of Astralis are currently here waiting for it, though. Device is going to be trailing towards short. Zipex there as well. The flashbang comes through to allow them to get out. But the problem is Device is still there, and he gets himself two quick kills. Zipex gets another as well, and Astralis is going to take the 11-4 first half scoreline here on the first match of the day at the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice, Katowice 2020 Master Championship. So they do have the opportunity to play out time, but will they be able to take down Glaive? They just come jumping around the quarry, gets his first, but OC is going to shut him down and just trades equal across the board. I wonder if they'll expect Device, however. He's going to be waiting patiently out towards Long Dupree on the site, goes down to Floppy, and there is Device. He's been spotted. Still, we stick in a 2v2, but clearing out this long position is going to be difficult, and they're hunting him down. They don't know where Magisk is, but he can't connect any of the shots. It's going to be left all onto Device. He's going to deny the defuse for now, and just going to be waiting patiently for OC to try and push him. Fake Flash, even baiting out OC. Device has this all day long, and makes it look far too easy. You normally talk about as well, if you see the in-game lead of most teams at least at the top of the scoreboard then there's, there's probably some issues coming in and well JT is, is far and above the rest of his team at the moment still carrying on 12 and 12 he's even but unfortunately the stars of this Cloud9 roster are yet to wake up floppy right near the bottom of the board Sonic also not performing and you're never going to win matches like that of course it seems like they're being overwhelmed but Modem at least is going to be able to find one a little bit slow to start here to kick off the day 
Nice little shot out of JT. That's his second of the round. Looking for number three as well as Blade peeks around the corner. Not quite able to hit the shot, but he's going to stick around looking for more. And Zipex is eventually going to overwhelm him, just jumping into the air. I think Molotov going to be flying in to try and clear some of the closer angles. Smoke onto the site, but they've got to deal with Sonic. But he doesn't hit his shots. So both go down. Zipex within seconds, but Floppy, perfect timing. 20 seconds left, the Shaws have to make the push, and the Shaws get two kills as well. They're only gonna trade one back for Cloud9. It's gonna be Sonic and now Modem trying to play over towards the pit position. Has to worry about Dupree pushing up, shuts him down. 14 seconds left on the clock, and he's eventually gonna fall to Glaive. And Magus will get the bomb in towards Sight, but OC's gonna respond with Ooh. one. The nade comes through, oh. ah, doesn't do that much damage, but now it's a two on two. Yeah, and Osi's so desperately low. JT is going to have to do a lot of the work. Magis peeking around the angle. He's going to lose the battle, but Device, he's got such an HP advantage over Osi in this scenario. It's going to have to come down to almost baiting Device into a peek, and we've seen him in these clutch situations before. He's going to scope to try and make him not believe that he's defusing the bomb. He's sticking it all the way. It comes down to the fire, and Device takes it within a millisecond. And also after the first half, I, I don't know if we're going to see the, the same Cloud9 we normally get. Earlier this round, it's going to be Astralis making their play into the B site. Flop, he is in the right position with this AWP, just watching for anybody to cross, but he misses his shot, and that's pretty much round over. And it's going to be Sonic rotating in, but he's closed out very quickly, and now Floppy, he has no choice. He's just got to save this up again. Really have a chance to maintain this, and there you go. Walks around the corner, Zipix drops him, and Astralis now on map point. With a whole lot of support here. It's going to be in a tough position. JT's got aggressive, though, so they will at least gain some information. Modem in the connector has managed to win his duel. The only issue is, is where Astralis seem to be going. It, it relies heavily on OC finding this kill, and he does. Peeks around, but Magisk is so quick to get that trade, and already quite far into the site is going to be Dupree. Not made his way through the smoke just yet, so Floppy has been able to rotate in, and Sonic is about to join him. JT is still... Oh He's behind them, but he's maybe a little bit too slow. You're going to have Magic there to help watch it as well. Bomb will be planted towards the A-side. Sonic going to push through the smoke. It's his head cleanly taken off by Dupree. And finally, JT's arrived, but just into the open arms out of Magus. Now it's all on modem and a one on three to save the map at the moment for Cloud9. And yeah, it's not going to happen. Charles will take the victory at 16 to 7 and go into the second map of Train up 1 to 0, Tom. It's already going to be a bombardment of this B-site. There's going to be a man of floppy just waiting. He <laughs> doesn't manage to connect a shot onto Zipix. He gets the opener, winning that long-range battle with the Glock. And that is the Swarm already so far forward. Look how much map control they've gathered, Jason. It is going to be another kill. Quick trade at least. But Dupree's still here. He's still just holding this angle. And is, is he really going to go even further? I mean, he's got their kit, too. Time's just being taken away. Sonic's going to take Dupree down, so they'll be able to recover the kit, but now pushing in 2v3 with so many angles to clear. I don't see this as being possible for Cloud9. But he needs to hit this shot, but unfortunately, Zipex will get the kill against him, and now Sonic can't quite connect either, and Astralis will take the first round. Zipex with three kills, by the way, in that round. And leaving Floppy as the solo bank, uh, uh, anchor, even, not the banker, although if you combine the two, he would be the banker. Drop down to 50 HP, but if you lose with a double op setup, then... You know, the monetary investment that you just used is completely out the window and you can't stabilize. Device gets the first gun to OC. That's one off now down. Floppy, though, able to chime back in and again, playing to stay alive for his teammates to rotate back through. That was sick. That pop flash was beautiful. It just left Device completely blind and he's helped out Sonic to get an extra frag while he's going. Glaive going to be left alone and he will be shot down and has a little bit of support now from OC, just going to be spraying them down. Magis does manage to get around the corner. In fact, it's OC to find both kills and looking for a little bit more. Still, though, two kills come back. Astralis never really seemed to be out of these rounds as the bomb is going to be planted. Nades falling on their heads and Dupree once again into a clutch situation. Device doesn't really have anything to fight with, so once we see Magis go down, I, I can't really see a way that Device wins this. Yeah. Maybe he can push through, maybe kill the diffuser, but Mom's going to be sticking it. Oh my <laughs> god, what? <laughs> knew exactly where the bomb was planted, knew exactly where the head of Odin was going to be. He gets the first, the smoke and to help him out. Can he go for the second as well? Okay, okay. <laughs> if he lined that up and hit it, I was going to scream so loud. Device always showing us new things. Sonic with his aggression once again. They like to challenge Ivy early on. And Floppy going to be getting aggressive. He just about escapes with his life, but I don't think that's going to be lasting too long. Having to stick around, not really finding an exit. He actually gets another kill, but Glaive should hunt him down and will. Looking for a shot. I think Sonic, yeah, was just spotted out. Did go for the shot onto Glaive. Wasn't able to quite connect, though. On 
Kind of really needs this kill as well to alleviate pressure. He gets it on to Magis, so kind of keeps the fight on one front over from T-Main. Now, 35 seconds left to go here, Tom and Astral, so you're going to have to start to put some pressure down, start to get some ground with the smokes and Molotovs they have. They might be able to get this bomb down with Sonic. He says no. Even still, Zipix has managed to find one peak back. The bomb down on the floor is going to make things a fair bit more difficult. Device from above, looking for the pick. Miss shots from both AWPers give opportunities, but that's nice work from OC to close out one more. Device just doesn't have the time. Almost has to look to try and just fall back and save this AWP into the next round. And again, another stronghold coming in from Cloud9. He's been holding some nice angles as well to get the Molotov down right when they need it with some nade damage to, to actually open that up. And speaking of nade damage, you see JT again able to connect on the Magus and Dupree, and Sonic's able to get the first. The double ops really doing well here for Cloud9. Able to help look secure at, themselves these rounds. Look at bottom as well. He's already in behind them. They, they went so aggressive in the early stages of the round that he's been able to pincer him from behind. Slightly missed on the spray though. But he's done a lot of damage as he goes. He's given some space to Floppy to get back into the site. Oh, oh, oh he Whoops. almost had his spot on. Will it bounce back ground far enough? Not quite. The one issue is that modern pushing could actually give away a little bit of a false positive, and this is going to come down to timing. Floppy is going to peek the corner, and that gives Device the kill. Now modern just lurking within the site. He could be in the perfect position. I don't know if Device will expect this. He's not going to, and modern gets both. Good cleanup, triple kill from him, and Cloud9 are looking like a completely different team to what we saw in the last map. Some confidence come out of Glaive. He's able to take down JT. Bottom's going to walk right to the crosshair of Dupree. Probably can see the shadow as well. Flashbang comes through. Really well placed. Bottom gets the kill. Does keep the man advantage back in the hands of Cloud9. But then again, Astralis basically just investing deagles and some armor into this round. And they're still doing some decent damage. And again, we mentioned the economy of Cloud9's fragile. They can't really afford to be losing too many players in Sonic. I mean, this is almost a one-and-done position unless the crossfires are to come in out of bottom to help out, but bottom oh. gets his head clean taken off, and now Sonic has to be the saving grace. Can they line up for a shot? Potentially, no. Matt just will finish him off, and now Floppy's got to be the playmaker yet again. Yeah, they don't know where he is. That's the only real saving grace, so he will be able to find that initial kill. And now it's the young star versus, well, one of the best players in the world, Device. Could be looking to try and take this clutch back. Has the bombers 40 seconds and a retrieved M4. This could be the boost that Astralis need to get right back into this half, especially with the financial situation. I don't know if Floppy just spotted maybe a pixel of device. He does, and again, it's going to be another clutch round. Modem in the last with a 1v2. Yeah, I think they know that this was not spotted last time, so they can afford to do it again. OC actually goes down to device. Like, Modem's on the corner, oh, wow. sprays him, and OC gets killed instead because he was peeking from a slightly wider angle. They've just managed to completely clean up, and now Sonic, well... This is the worst possible position he could be in. He is trapped, they know where he is, and he's not going to connect either of his shots. Actually, just looking to throw in some early smokes into this A site. Again, it's going to give Glade the space to run forward. Modem is going to be dead for sure, running through the smoke. It is going to be a quick trade, but that, that's almost what Glaive's job has been on this T side so far. Get into the site, do some damage, find a pick, maybe waste some of their utility. How much can Astralis bait their opposition into rotations? They've now thrown more grenades into oh, no, the B no, don't side. Leave. No, this is the thing. In A, they just threw a couple of Molotovs. And I, I think Cloud9 at this point are so confused as to where they're actually going. They're finally going to realize, but it may be too little too late. Magus gets the entry, bomb's going to go down. And uh, the only real saving grace is that Floppy is quick on the flank. I don't know if Sonic's going to be able to do anything here. Here, but here's the peak from Floppy. Sprays down two, gets into that 1v2 situation. He's got to be careful. There's a man behind, but he finds that kill as well. Leaves Zipix all on his own. Clutch Master to finish it off. And may actually just go for the defusal. He spots him a little bit further away, just trying to bait him in. Doesn't have a kill. And he finds a kill as well. What a sick play coming out from Floppy. Both sound horrible, don't yeah. they? <laughs> Three famouses. Rifle spot for Cloud9. Device just set up perfectly for Modem, trying to get aggressive. Glaive actually not pushing out for a main like we've seen in the last few rounds. Now Sonic's going to take up the reins for a Modem fell, and well, he's going to continue the route of what went down for Cloud9 so far. And unfortunately, after that big play out of Floppy in the last round, it looks like Cloud9 will lose the last round of the half. Yeah, unless, unless OC can do one better with less HP and less information. <laughs> he almost burns down. In fact, Device is actually just going to kill him off with a Deagle. Going for the double drop down. No one going to be currently in there. And they're actually playing super far back for Astralis too. But with three players towards the B site, you can easily get these quick rotates through. They just need to keep the players alive on the site. Three holds the angle, but he is going to get traded out. Timing 
Could have actually worked a little bit better for Cloud9 if Sonic was just around that corner oh, no. and underneath that's dirty from Zephix. He denies the bomb plant. That's going to make things so much more difficult and continues again. He's been great in these pistol rounds. Sonic going to be left in another clutch situation, but he can't stop Zephix. He's had a great day so far. 16 and 9, 4K in the pistol round. And Cloud9 going for the investment here, though. Three SGs. Oh, Sonic. Oh. Nades coming through again. The fire is going to burn oh, him. One no. HP and Glaive gets it. And Glaive continues to push, taking down JT, completely overwhelming Cloud9 on T mid. Like it, that time at least manages one. Zipix gonna find that trade very quickly. These race the floppy and almost kills him off as well. Nice timing from Modem though. He's way quite far forward. The issue is they actually know that Glaive is there. The timing is gonna leave him completely surrounded. He has to go for the low HP player, looks for a little bit more, but can't quite kill off Modem. Here's the peak. Coming back in, Modem has spotted him out, but I don't know if there's anything he can do about it. Device even retrieves, but he's not going to spot him. There we go, the utility being thrown in. JT down to 14 health. I think there's another nade coming through. Maybe there's a scout shot coming out of Zipex. Not just in sight. Does not unfortunately take down Floppy. And Device, fortunately, trying to back away, but not going to work out for him either. Four on three. And maybe if you're Dupree, you should just save the M4, but trying to make it expensive, I would have guessed. Oh my gosh, Glaive just walks around the corner. Zipex gets the shot as well. There's a chance that Astralis can win this round. And Sonic, who was the safe man watching the back, he has to be the one to clutch it. He has to one to come around the corner from the smoke. Aims a little bit too high. Still sticking to the defuse. He comes through, he gets the kill. And I think that actually might have won the round for them because Astralis are turning tail and running. And that's going to be a round one for Cloud9, but they've lost all players. And this is actually going to be another force by investment coming up from the CT side. And it has not started well. JT, he's finally back on the board after a long hiatus. A double kill with the Galil and leaves just two players remaining. Device, this would have to be probably the most impressive play we've seen so far. And I do want to say that Floppy, like we're starting to see the confidence out of him. I think since that 1v4, he's been really kind of feeling himself. Able to push up aggressively again. Device gets the first on OC. There's no follow-up though out of Cloud9 to return that frag, unfortunately. Let's pick up the SG from OC who fell. And again, Astralis had the early three-man hold on the inner site too. So we've seen you know, Cloud9 do something similar on their CT half. Individually face a duel. We need to have pop flashes every single time. We need to make sure that <laughs> we're not just caught out, but a decent entry kill. If they can find Zip, there's a chance. Floppy will at least manage to get that kill, and he's back in this position once again. A one versus three. A flank going to be coming in from Dupree. Needs a kill relatively quickly to try and stop them pushing in from behind before he's actually managed to clear out some spots, but isn't going to find anything just yet. And Glaive straight through the smoke is going to make sure there's going to be no repeat from the previous half. Astralis right back onto the board. Which means Connor had to invest a lot of utility to just allow them an opportunity to get out of these corners, to get out of these positions, to look for the shot to pre. Look at that. Quick little double spray down. I think Modem has been spotted, but now he's pretty much lose his teammates left and right. Oh, he doesn't look up. He doesn't see him. He sees him now. And now his position's given away. Yeah, even still, though, they've turned it back into a 2v2. It's only really Zipix on the rotation back that could catch them, but I like this from Uzi. He's fallen back. I don't think he's going to be expected. Zipix sort of checks the angle, but not properly. And they've turned this back from a 2v4 into a 2v1 device. Looking for the spot, spots the rifle. Now he has all the information. That's the first kill. Knows that Modem's here. And I don't know if Modem knows the opposite. The device is still around, still knowing that he's in this position. The peak coming back in from the Dane is perfect. He hits the shot, but it doesn't actually kill off Modem, even though he was low on HP. Down to just 30 remaining. Bomb on the deck, 25 seconds, and device is going to be pulling out his USP. Maybe a little bit risky. He'd need a couple of shots to land. Incendiary going to go down towards the bomb. Orp even picked up by the opposition. You could just try the game, and that's the problem now. There's only 10 seconds left on the clock. Smoke going to go down, which will allow him the chance to peak Modem actually off the bomb. He just has to wait now. He doesn't need to do anything, and that is perfect from Device. Played like a master of the clutch, and is he... oh, he's not going to get the final kill. That would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah, I don't think having Magus on a rifle is really that much of a detriment. Floppy running straight out, sprayed through the smoke a little bit. A bullet did connect, so if the sound cube was given, 
CTs might have an idea. I think they're going to know this anyway, but Floppy peeks out. That's Magic's gone already. Rounds the corner and is met with Zipix. Everybody seeming a little bit lost around these smokes at the moment, and OC's going to capitalize off the back of that. Device quickly wraps around. He's on spot a little bit sooner than the previous, and Sonic can't really afford to challenge him, and unfortunately, his teammates are so desperately low on HP as well that there's not really a good fight to take, but he gets the timing correct. Find Zipix. The device is just going to be waiting on the corner, holding for this cross to come in. Drops the bomb as well, leaves it into a two versus two. The nade could even close out another, which it will. And once again, it's going to be a 1v1 duel to decide this round and potentially give somebody the lead because Cloud9, they could confirm it here. Or Astralis are back level pegging. Does get onto the bomb train, does get the bomb down, but Glaive is playing for the round win here. And OC has no idea he's coming over the top, but it doesn't matter because he misses the first shot. OC almost able to connect the follow up on the Glaive, but Glaive will clutch it out and get Astralis at 12 12. Trying to go for a little bit of a pincer hit. B is a little bit open, but are they going to expect Zipex to be here with the Mag 7? He can completely swing in from behind. Potentially take down Floppy. There's the first shot. There it is. <laughs> bomb now down. In the meantime, Magic's device is able to get two, and now it's going to be in a three on two situation. OC's by himself. He's bought time. That's, that's all the Zipix really needed to do was just buy enough time for the full rotation to come in. Device going ham with that AWP once again. And now we sit in just as tough a clutch situation as any other. One versus three. Missed shot completely. And they still have so much utility left. Four smokes left to help delay any sort of push from coming through. That's a lot of utility into the B side, considering the position of the bomb. It, it still lurked very far back. Modem is sent in as a one-man fake, but no one's rotated. It, it's not worked at all. They haven't baited players forward. OC and Device both missing their shots here. And actually, another one missed for OC. He's had opportunities to kill both players. Finally, he gets one down the second as well, looking for a clutch of his own. But Glaive is going to stop it before it even begins. 15 to 12. Speaking of Glaive, pushed out towards Ivy. Spawns up bottom, gets down to 29 health, and Flop, unfortunately, as he was aggressive, does get dropped. Yeah, Modem actually almost the martyrdom onto him as you see the trade coming out, just back and forward all the way through, but it's left onto Sonic in a clutch situation. We've seen plenty of these from his side. Good flashbang leaves him blind, and HE tags him further, and it's going to be the AWP holding onto him. They have him pincered into this position, and with the bomb down, he can't really go anywhere. Does have plenty of time to play with trying to somehow find an individual duel, but you can see both players just set up for any sort of trade and it's not going to be happening. Astralis, they will take this series in a 2-0 fashion.